It's been a while since I got into a mess of fish, so this morning I'm going to do some bank fishing with worms for bullheads and other panfish and whatever else wants to bite. There we go. First fish of the day, baby. She was just sitting on it. Most likely a bullhead. We got a really nice looking chop going on in this lake right now, so bullhead fishing should be prime. She really wasn't even bouncing on it. This is the funny thing. What do we got here? Big bullhead? Big bullhead. Yeah, girl. You come on right over here, honey. That's a nice bullhead right there. Wow. Very impressive. Huge head on the thing. Huge. That's a 16 plus inch bullhead right there for sure. These bullheads, they love it when there's a nice murky chop coming into the bay. They always move in and feed when you get a nice murky chop. Believe it or not, I measured that last bullhead and it was 17 and an eighth inches, so it tied my personal best. Pretty cool. Another nice beautiful brown bullhead here. There are yellows in this lake as well, but not very common. This is a nice one too. Usually you see them around 14, 15 inches here average. These last two have been above average. This is probably a 15 and a half, I'd say. Right around there. Cool. So I'll show you at the end of the video, but I'm using a, um, just using basic slip sinker rigs with a swivel and a uh, little Aberdeen hook and half a night crawler. So I'm just bottom fishing for these bad boys. They really aren't very active today. They're just sitting on it. So when I check my poles every 10 or 15 minutes, they're just on there. Trying to get them to move right here so he doesn't get all tangled up and stuff. This guy's a runner. That's why he's a runner. It's a carp. Little carp, very small carp. Cool. Very rare you see them this small around here. They're very spunky. <laughs> Try to get a hold of him here. He's round, but he's very short. <laughs> Now, of course, the rain has started. Hopefully the rain doesn't get all over the lens and or the microphone and ruin the video. Doing the best to keep the rain off. Apologize if it gets on the camera. This way, Dingus, go to the right. I don't want you crossing my line to the left. Come on, Dingus. Yeah, that first one was 17 and an eighth, which ties my personal best. It's a bullhead, but it's a spunky one. Another nice one. These are beauties. These are nice, solid, beautiful, chunky bullheads. Look at that. He's muddy, but he is nice. 15 plus incher. There you go. I got another one going here. They're just sitting on it. They're really not tugging after they bite. Again, I apologize for this terrible rain. It's probably getting all over the all over the camera lens as I as I try to film here. Just trying to get a modest stringer. I'm not trying to deplete the whole lake today. But a few would be nice, you know, for dinner. What do we got? Don just got a nice perch, probably 13 and a half inches, which is pretty dope. Another bullhead, beauty. Another nice bullhead coming in. Humming a humming a humming a humming a Real nice quality today on the bullheads. That's another skinny, but 15 and a half at least, I'd say. Maybe 16. Hallelujah, the rain has ended. Hopefully I wiped the camera off good enough. This guy was just sitting on it for like 10 minutes and he didn't pull it all, he was just sitting there. It's funny how they're acting today. He doesn't feel as big, but he does feel like a bullhead, I think. We're also trying to get into the perch. That's nice, but if we don't, we don't. It's okay. Come here, dingus. Oh, it's a big perch. Lol. 
Oh my gosh, look at this beautiful perch. Wow, 14 inch perch. That's fantastic. Got myself a tiny carp, some big bullhead, and a jumbo perch. The perch was 14 inches on the dot with the mouth closed, and the biggest bullhead was 17 and 1 eighth. All great fish to uh, eat if you know how to clean them. Nice haul of jumbo panfish. So today I've been using a pair of 6 foot 6 inch medium power fast action rods, Fluger Presidents, 6 pound mono, and the rigs I've been using are just your basic slip sinker rig, weight, swivel, leader, and tiny Aberdeen hook.